Welcome back to Jeeping for Beginners, folks. And our countdown to our epic trip to finish the Continental Divide, we still got a couple more things left to do to the JK. Today is going to be one of the most exciting things I think that I've had an opportunity to play with since I started this channel, and I am so excited to share it with you guys. So stick around, because I promise you are going to want to see this. And welcome back to Jeeping for Beginners, folks. Once again, my name is Josh, and today we are playing with my JK for one of the coolest things ever. Got contacted by a company called Open Road 4x4, and they gave us a 270-degree awning to hang on the Jeep for our trip. So I'm really excited about that. We have a couple of obstacles that we got to cover on our Jeep, and that is the Gobi Safari Rack, which I know I've mentioned in the past is extremely difficult to attach accessories to that are not proprietary to Gobi. So we had to get a little creative with the hardware. I think that we made it extremely simple for this install. So for those of you who have the Gobi Safari Rack, you can still install this awning. Otherwise, the directions are really crystal clear for the rest of the uh, roof rack styles that are out there and the hardware is super easy. So we're gonna jump right in and get the mounts mounted up here so that we can hang the awning. The brackets that they give you from Open Road have a long side to them and a short side to them. By rights, this side here is actually supposed to be the side that holds onto the awning. Now, this side, therefore, would mount to your rack. Now, I will say, because I'm going to show you on a couple of other Jeeps that we've done this on, it is fully possible to use it the other way if you're trying to meet a height requirement. Open Road says that the awning itself should fall somewhere around the 78 inches off the ground in order for optimal efficiency. So in my case, this works perfect to use it exactly how it's recommended. In my buddy Mikey's case, which I'll show you right now on his Gladiator, we had to flip it the other way because of the half rack just to get the height of the awning up above where the cab of the truck is. But either way, this is thick gauge steel and it's not gonna bend in either direction. So it's gonna be very sturdy in order to hold it in place. The hardware that they provide you is basically just a plate like this and some bolts with the idea in mind that you slide it up onto your rack, run the bolts through to a plate up underneath and then bolt it in place and this will hold on. With the Gobi Safari Rack, that makes this actually a little bit more difficult for two reasons. One, because the mesh that I have that I could theoretically do that to is only on half the rack. The front half of the rack, which is where the majority of the support for this awning needs to be, is actually a removable piece because of the Sunrider hardtop. So it didn't make sense to install it that way. So I said, you know what? I'm not gonna use the factory hardware for this. We went down to Lowe's we got some U-bolts. These are easy to get a hold of. They're stainless steel. They won't rot. And they're the perfect size to wrap right around the actual welded on support bars from Gobi right here in the center. So if you look at this one right here, which we've already attached, it is nice and solid, not going anywhere. And I don't have to put the front mesh in in order to install the awning. So really excited about that. So what we're going to do is you basically slide this in between the bottom uh, support and the top support where the angle iron is going to bump right up against it. Should give us the perfect height out. And then we just run the U-bolt, <coughs> excuse me, around the bottom of the bar, back up into the bracket and bolt it down. Guys, that's it. Super simple. And the hardware is installed on the Jeep. So now let's get the best part of this project, the awning itself installed.
How does that look? That covers this. So yeah, look at that. See the way the hinge is? We can put it right butt up against the back of the rack. Just like that. That would be perfect. And these look like, oh, these are extremely well built aluminum. We've got the legs are built in and keep talk, keep it taut, Devin. We've got lights built in. Super easy. And even though I'm short, it actually covers pretty well. All right, let me just butt right in just for a second. Just like always, I had an ending for this video set up with the typical, hey, there's a link in the description down below and um, check it out. This is definitely worth every single penny and, and blah, 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 and all that kind of stuff. However, since the video hadn't been released yet and we are now back from our epic adventure across the continental divide which don't even get me started on that that was an incredible incredible journey and i can't wait to share that with you um i actually had a couple of things that i wanted to express about this particular awning in this video that i know that you're going to be a hundred percent interested in first of all these legs that they have um they actually made it super easy and super simple to use them they fall straight down twist hold up and then that's it they hold right in place and even on the windiest of occasions while we were out there it was still nice and sturdy now they do offer strings in the hardware kit in order to be able to tie it down but honestly we didn't even need that the really cool part which i i know i saw on their website but i didn't get a chance to experience it um until we were on this trip is these lights check out these lights now in addition in the original footage when my wife and my son and i were installing the awning we had talked about the challenges of attaching it to the gobi safari rack and that we had to use um u-bolts in order to get it attached firmly and correctly um because of the way that the weight is distributed however i'm sure you noticed that the bracket that i put up front on the bar that's up front actually we ended up taking it off and the reason we took it off is because as you can see even with the awning pushed all the way forward it was a mismeasurement on my part but it doesn't actually reach but you know what that's okay so check this out by putting just the two brackets that are on here it was actually more than enough support in order to hold it in place i've actually was extremely impressed and it was one of those things like i wanted to try it and i wanted to test it just to make sure that two brackets was actually going to be enough or if i was going to have to redo it and figure out how to get the third one to fall somewhere in the area where the removable mesh on the gobi safari rack falls but the good news is is nope just two mounting points is all it needed and this thing was as sturdy as a rock now, like I said, we are back from our epic journey. And one of the hugest assets that we had was this awning on my Jeep and on Mikey's Jeep. And the biggest reason was because the weather wasn't exactly friendly during the first couple of days that we were out there. Um, and this definitely kept us under shelter, especially for the size group that we had. So that being said, I chose to redo the ending of this video uh, because I have since been in contact with Open Road 4x4. And I told them actually how much I enjoyed using this awning. And for the price point that they offer it at, honestly, I think this is something that can't be beat. But the cool part is, is they decided to give you guys special treatment and we're even going to beat their deal and that is 
There is a link in the description down below this video. It is my affiliate link with Open Road 4x4. It'll take you directly to their website so you can check out this awning. And believe me, the price is already going to shock you. But if you were to use discount code J4B, that's it. Three letters, just J4B. They're going to give you an additional 10% off. Now, by no means necessary, am I here trying to produce a sales pitch? Not at all. You know what? If a 270 awning is not something that you're looking for, that's perfectly fine. This actually came in really handy for our trip, and I'm really happy that we had it. However, if it is something that you're interested in, you know, as well as I do, that the prices on these things could easily climb to thousands of dollars. And for the quality that you get, for something that's firmly attached on not even using all the hardware that they provided and lights up the entire area at night, honestly, you really can't beat it. And so for those of you that are interested, please check it out. Yes, it's an affiliate link, so it definitely helps me out, but no joke, this is probably the best price 270 awning you're ever going to find. Like I said, customer service is a big thing, okay? And there are a lot of companies out there that sell products just like this, but try to get them on the phone or get a response on an email. Honestly, I feel like a lot of them, they just want your money. But Open Road, they actually care about their customers. Our email conversation and our phone call conversations back and forth in um, understanding the product and exactly what it is that I was getting was second to none. So customer service is a big thing in my book. I hope it's a big thing in your book. And that is something that would make Open Road stand out. Not to mention the fact that the price point on this thing is better than any 270 awning that you're ever going to find. I promise you should check it out. The link is in the description down below this video. So once again, folks, my name is Josh and this is Jeeping for Beginners. And thank you so much for tuning in. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel. Um, there is so much more content to come and so many really cool things that I have been contacted uh, about lately, some of which I can't even talk about yet because they're not even on the market yet, which is actually really, really cool. Cannot wait to share that with you guys. And like I said, as of the time I am filming this outro to this video, we have completed our quest ac across the Continental Divide, and it was such an epic journey. I cannot wait to actually share it with you. So you're going to want to stay tuned for that. So in the meantime, if this is something that you're interested in, like I said, there is a link in the description down below this video. It'll take you directly to their website. And don't forget, if you use the discount code J4B right here across the bottom of the screen, J4B, you're going to get an additional 10% off what's already the best value 270 awning on the market. So in the meantime, folks, stay safe, happy jeeping, and we will see you next time.